The Newcastle Light Rail project is part of the New South Wales government's $650 million investment to revitalise the Newcastle city centre and is projected to be complete by early 2019. A project of such extent always involves multiple components working in sync with each other to create a completely functional service that is part of an integrated transport solution, is an energy efficient and sustainable form of transport, stimulates urban revitalization, can carry the equivalent of up to three full buses, is frequent and reliable during peak hour, and more importantly, laying the foundation for future light rail network. In terms of the design aspect, the Newcastle light rail has been made accessible by making the light rail vehicles low on the ground level, allowing people with a disability or mobility issues to comfortably and more so practically use the light rail system just as everyone else. With reference to the building footprint of the light rail service, customers will be able to utilise the service by travelling from Newcastle Interchange to Honeysuckle, Civic, Crown Street, Market Street or Pacific Park. Hello everyone, I'm Sand Manager. As a Sand Manager, I could be responsible for a whole site or with a larger schemes. I may be responsible for, for part of the project and report to the more senior, a senior manager who may be taking care of the several projects at the same time. Before the work starts, a site manager gets things ready for the talking on staff and preparing the site, carefully planning the works to be done and installing temporary temporary officer for the site staff. Uh, while the work is taking place, the site manager will monitor the progress, oversee delivery for the materials and carry out safety checks and and sketch out uh, any problems which could hold up works as they arise. A site manager will also keep uh, also keep in close contact with the members of of their sites team at all time and uh, letters with uh, architects, uh, engineers, surveyors, and uh, planner planners. I will also ensure the works uh, complies with the building with regular regulation and the health and safety legislation, as well as other legal requirements. Hi guys, my name is Samuel Laria and I'm the project manager for the Newcastle Light Rail project. As the project manager, I'll have overall responsibility for the successful planning, execution, monitoring, control and closure of the project. I must also use a combination of skills, including the ability to ask key questions, detect unstated assumptions and resolve conflicts, as well as more general management skills. More specifically, I'll need to direct the multidisciplinary team and ensure that each stage of the project is progressing on time, on budget, and to the right quality standards. Coordinate the various trades on site, ensure all trades are meeting the project schedule, report regularly on progress to the client, report any incidents that may occur, and maintain effective communication with stakeholders. Some problems that I may encounter on the project as the project manager include poor weather conditions, which can lead to delays, cash flow issues due to clients not paying within the given time frame, and miscommunication between various trades on site with office admin and even the client. Moreover, some of the operational risks that may occur include waiting for approvals from various authorities, consultants not responding to RFIs within a reasonable time frame, provisional sums, variations, site safety, and defects. Hi, my name is Hassan Rashid and I'm the project director of Newcastle Arrow. As a project director, my responsibilities include regular meeting with clientele, uh, devising cost-effective plans, managing risk, maintaining and enforcing good construction standards and quality control, and ensuring project managers super, uh, supervise and manage their own multi multi-discipline teams, um, making strategic decisions, building strong working ethics, uh, maintaining control and responsibility, and pretty much ensuring that everything goes as planned. Due to the due to my high level, my responsibility, um, over time would be likely in order to meet deadlines of pretty much Newcastle area. As the financial officer of the project, my responsibilities including oversee the project budget and ensure all expenses are controlled within it. Work aligned with the project director and provide advice on financial accountability to him. Manage subcontractors invoicing and remain informed as to any rates or contractual changes. 
Financial policies are also required to be developed to ensure operational efficiency, as well as conducting periodic financial analysis to identify and resolve invoicing issues, accounting discrepancies, and other financial-related issues. As the facility management of the project, my responsibilities include prepare the document for the advice of tender, super- supervise and maintain the work facilities. Facility managers will need to complete daily inspection and communicate directly with design makers to ensure that the business running smoothly every day. Dealing with emergency issue that arise, creating plans for replacement and repairs, developing and management vendor contracts, calculate and compare the cost of vendor machine and service, make sure that health and safety of staff or workers, efficiency, efficiently using money and make sure the daily need, prepare the device facility to deal with the different conditions such as storm, managing space of the building, di- direct, coordinate, and plan essential services such as receptions, security, maintenance, mail, archiving, cleaning, clearing, waste, disposal, and recycling. Hello everyone, my name is Jay, who is head architect for Newcastle Light Rail Project. As a head architect, my responsibilities are lead the implementation of architectural initiatives when appropriate such as in support of complex designs of problems or uniquely different approaches for the organization at large. We have several innovations in this project. Firstly, maximizing on-street parking. Secondly, minimizing land sharing between general traffic and light rail vehicles and removing many overhead wire structures made possible because of new battery technology. This will enhance the new infrastructure's look and feel while preserving aesthetics and heritage architecture. This is Maggie Yang, the HR manager of the Newcastle Light Rail project. As the HR manager, my responsibilities mainly include two parts. Internally, leading an HR team in the delivery of effective human resource services to the Newcastle Light Rail project and externally, licensing with external stakeholders, including trade unions, and providing timely, accurate, value-adding generalist HR advice. Also, we must make sure that the overall well-being of employees is normative, and ensure a safe working environment for employees, free from discrimination and harassment, such as racism and sexism. As a WHS coordinator, I have many responsibilities related to the safety and health problems for all workers within the workplace. For example, implement feasible and effective safety and health procedures for the project, provide informed advice to advance existing WHS systems and policies. It is important to collect and analyze WHS data to minimize safety risks, maintain professional knowledge and expert experience of WHS issues. Keep reports of safety related accidents and incidents and provide reports as a requirement. A WHS coordinator also needs to work on site and prevent unsafe activities and operations, conduct WHS system auditing and inspections. All of these are my responsibilities of a WHS coordinator. Hi, I am the site engineer of the Newcastle Light Rail project. In this project, I am tasked to take on several crucial positions of which contribute to maintain a smoothly running operation. Being an important member of the site management team, I am achieving this by taking shared responsibilities, including the health and safety of employees, and providing supervision to technical operations. To ensure this, my 10 years of experience provides me with good communicative abilities and management skills, in order to correspond with contractors effectively, as well as technical problem-solving skills to resolve any complications. An example of my role includes supervising of the process of laying concrete sleepers, as well as small uh, miscalculations can have major consequences, such as potentially derailing light rail trains. 
Another component of my position is negotiation with several quantity surveyors to ensure while the quality of the rail network is to be maintained, it is also affordable for the Newcastle government. As a contract administrator in this project, my responsibility involves being accountability and responsibility when working with different type of people within the construction process, and also understand the interrelationship between the trade and construction operation. As it also important to planning and discussing constructual arrangement for the execution. In addition, screening appropriate subcontractor according to the budget, construction requirement, and legal relationship. Furthermore, having the skill and knowledge to understand and apply the relevant legal regulation for the construction provision, and solving any existing and potential construct conflict.